Hi guys, it's Jim from Palace Fan TV with the last Jim and Jay's final say of the season. Ah, uh, no one cares. Um, so the last game of the season was against Swansea and Palace won 1-0 to secure a top 10 finish, um, which is uh, the first time we've ever done that in the Premier League. Uh, highest ever finish in the Premier League and second highest finish ever. Bearing in mind the last, the one before that was third in 1991, which was the old first division. Um, so quite a, a monumentous day. Uh, and really it rounds off what's been a very special second half to the season. Um, what was interesting was that none of the press seemed to care about Palace. And, and you know, finishing 10th, I guess, from anyone outside the club doesn't, you know, you think, oh, Palace mid-table, whatever. But actually to us, it's a massive achievement. Uh, highest ever finish ever and certainly from where we were when Pardew took over I think it's huge progress and shows just how much potential there is in this squad in this team in this club you know and we really are on, on an upward trajectory at the moment and I think we should all be very proud of what's happening but from the outside it, it, no one seems to care no one was really going crazy uh, at the weekend on, on Palace finishing 10th which is fair enough because all the action was down the bottom of the, the league with Hull and Newcastle um, Bye bye, Steve Bruce. Um, but but I think it's a uh, it's a special it's a special day for us and a nice way to round off what's been actually a very good season and another season in the top flight and progression, clear progression. You know, we thought we thought we were progressing under Pulis last season. We were, you know, we took a step back maybe under Warner, but I think now we're progressing even more under Pardew. So it's it's great. You know, these are the glory days. And uh, Saturday, sorry, Sunday was um, just a chance to, to to round it off. Uh, in a nice way, and we did. And again, I think the the coverage of the game was wrong. You know, Chris Kamara on Soccer Saturday was saying, uh, "Sorry, Soccer Sunday. What, what do they what do they call it? I don't know." Um, was saying, "Oh, dull game here. Nothing to report. You know, a classic end of season mid table clash." Actually, Palace were brilliant. Palace dominated Swansea, and if we had, you know, uh, better finishing, we'd have won that game three or four nil easily. I thought uh, Sw Swansea were pretty average, but Palace were great. And again, it's progress because we never beat Swansea. We certainly never dominate them like that. And in fact, we would, with the way we are passing it around, we were doing to Swansea what they've done to us over the last few years. So that proves just how much we've come on as a, as a squad and a team, how much better we're getting, not just at winning games and, and competing, but at play, playing good football. Uh, you know, we're, we're improving the way we play and we're way more expansive and that's all part of the progress. So I think it was a, a day to be very proud. Um, I thought Wilf had one of his... Best games again. He just seems to be getting better each game. At the end of the season almost has come at the wrong time for Wilf actually, because you'd like to see him play a few more months, and you know you, he could be he could be a real a real star. Hopefully he'll work over the summer and hit the ground running in August, and uh, he could be a real ma match winner for us, and you know poten potential player of the week, player of the year winner I think in a couple of years' time. Balassi had a quieter game, uh, but you know Balassi is still effective when he has his quieter games, and he's so good for us that you will excuse him having. Uh, games that are so great now and then. Man of the match though was was Breda Hangerland, um, which I don't think any of us saw coming. You know, I didn't even think we'd see him starting, let alone getting man of the match. But you know, he's not a first, he's not a first team player. He's not one of the first names on the team sheet, but he does a job. He's very reliable and he's a real pro as well. Um, you know, people inside the club say that he's he gets on with it, trains every day like it's his last day at the. Club. He's just he's just a proper pro, and I can imagine that rubs off on a lot of the other players. So pleased to see him play well. I assume he'll be around next season. Um, he may not, uh, so that might be his last game, you don't know. But I, I'd be happy with him still in the squad, uh, giving options, because I think uh, he's a good defender to have off the bench and also influence around the training ground. So, uh, well done, Breda. Yeah, it was well done. Um, and good to see Shammers score. Poor old Shammers has so, much, so many injuries problem. And again, on Sunday, tweaked his hammy again, so... There's been rumours he might leave in the summer and one of the reasons being that he, he, he picks up injuries too too easily. I hope that they don't get rid of him and uh, somehow the medics can work on that hamstring because he's a real asset. He works hard, doesn't maybe score enough goals, but he's so intelligent. And I think when we've got him in the team, either as number 10 or number 9 up top, we just look a more intelligent team going forward. So I really hope he sticks around. I'm very pleased to see him score a very good goal. But that was his first goal in the league since September or something. So, you know, it's not he probably won't be that pleased with this season. Um, and and I'd like to see him stick around for another year. I think he's got a year left on his, on his contract. And 
Uh, impre impress and improve next season and get more goals and not as many hamstring injuries. Um, okay, so there you go. That, that's that's my review of the Swansea game, last game of the season. Uh, so this is last Jim and Jay's final say of the season. If you've enjoyed them, put a like down below and uh, comment with your thoughts on the Swansea game. And also these videos, we only started doing them this season. If you want to see them continue next season, then let us know. Um, and uh, hopefully we will. We've enjoyed doing them. Um, about to pass you on to Jay from the Eagles Beak. Um, but also to let you know that we are doing an end of season panel show um, here on Palace Fan TV with myself, with Jay, and with a few other hand-picked Palace bloggers. Um, that is going to be uploaded very soon. Uh, it'll be a four-part end of the season review, looking back at 2014-15 with Palace and uh, all the craziness that happened. So look out for that on Palace Fan TV. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. Here's Jay from the Eagles Beak, and see you very soon. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Palace Fan TV. This is the final Jim and Jay's final server season. So a big thank you to all that have been watching and subscribing to Palace Fan TV for our videos, and thanks for your comments as well. We're looking back at the Swansea game yesterday, which was a fantastic occasion, wasn't it? Really, we signed off a season in style, beating a Swans team which were depleted. They rested a few players. Um, but we still had to beat them, and we haven't beaten them for quite a while, particularly at Sellers Park. So it was great to get a win against them, finish the season off in, in style, and secure 10th place, top 10 side. Um, you know, last season was incredible as it was with the 11th place finish, but we've surpassed that with uh, with hard work, determination, and a manager in charge in Alan Pardew, who you know, could be at the club for a while. Uh, fingers crossed. You know, we, we never know what's around the corner of Palace, so... Let's enjoy the moment, uh, you know, as it is right now. And, you know, we're a top 10 side, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, we can kind of forget about last season and, and, and what happened in between and celebrate what we've achieved this season. I mean, the game yesterday, you know, was not, wasn't a bad game to, uh, to watch. The atmosphere was electric and nothing more than I expected, really, from, from the Palace fans. Um, and it was great to see a goal from Shamak, even though he went off injured. Shamak got us a goal. You know, everyone likes Shamak. You know, he's one of these players that, he, you know, he works, or sometimes works a bit too hard, I think, to please. You know, he he, he did try, uh, you know, a lot of things yesterday. He slipped on a pitch a few times, which is what a lot of players did. But, um, but yeah, I think it was an all-round decent performance. I mean, Swansea weren't soundly beaten. They still offered a bit. Um, so we had to be quite wary at the back. But I think, you know, we, we deserved the result in the end. So... Thankfully, we got three points, secured 10th place because, uh, you know, a couple of other teams lost yesterday. So, all in all, I think it's a very successful season and one that we can be very proud of. Um, you know, looking back is something that, you know, you don't tend to enjoy doing. But I think, you know, there's a lot of positives from this season that we can move on to next season for. But, you know, yesterday was great seeing the, seeing the team uh, wander around the pitch after the game. Um, you know, saying saying their goodbyes and, and whatever, and uh, and Pardew with the great speeches. You know, he's he's good with his words, and you know, said a lot of good things about Palace fans. And uh, we know he's right. We've got a lot to be positive about in the, for the future. So yeah, all in all, very very enjoyable season. Um, great to sign off in style, and we look forward to uh, the Sproni testimonial on Tuesday, which you know is our is our last game of the season, and one we can uh, you know. Look forward to and, and enjoy and, and, and thank a key, you know, goalkeeper that's uh, paid us some good service over the years. So hope to see uh, a few of you there. Um, once again, thank you for subscribing to these videos. We're hoping to do them again next season. Thanks to Palace Fan TV for asking me to do these videos this season, which I've really enjoyed. Also to Jim for joining me on these uh, these review videos. It's been great fun getting to know him as well. Um, and we look forward to next season. So thanks for watching. As ever, subscribe to the video, share the video, get as many people subscribed to Palace Fan TV as possible, and leave your comments and ideas for next season, and we'll take them on board. Many thanks for watching. Cheers. Yeah.